Good morning. I want to do a really quick video here on the issue of works salvation. One of the big attacks against me is the people will cut up my videos and they'll say, Brian Denlinger teaches works salvation. Don't follow him. Don't listen to him. He's a works salvationist. Uh, that is a lie that is bearing false witness. I have never taught works salvation. Okay. Uh, ever. Right. The, in terms of for today. Now in the future, uh, millennial kingdom, yes, it's works salvation because Jesus Christ is physically on the earth, so you can't have faith in that time period. Um, so again, people will take things like that and they'll say, see, he teaches works salvation because I say it's a future thing. <sighs> you know, <laughs> no. Uh, if I teach works salvation, that means for today, which I do not teach. I do not teach that today that you can work your way to heaven. But let me explain how to tell if someone believes in work salvation. Okay, point number one, if you believe in work salvation, then you will never have assurance of salvation. You'll never be able to say, I, I know for sure I'm going to be in heaven when I die. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why I reject it. Um, the Bible, the New Testament teaches in the Pauline epistles that you can know that you are saved, number one. And uh, 1 John 5, verse 13, it's not Pauline epistles, but you know, it teaches that you can know that you are saved, that you have eternal life. Um, but Paul teaches that you are sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. So it's saying the same thing as what John said over there in 1 John 5, 13. So, but with work salvation, you have to continually maintain good works to keep yourself saved. I don't teach that. I never have. Okay, that's very important to understand that. Um, point number two I'd like to make, uh, what I teach is, well, you know, I, I say that there's no such thing as faith alone, uh, which is true. Faith alone does not appear in the King James Bible. So they say we're saved by faith alone. No, you're not. And then, well, by grace alone, by faith alone, the, the, the five solas, you know, sola fide and all this other stuff. No, 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 no. Those are unscriptural you know, additions to the scriptures. Let me show you here the firewood progress that we have. There's the pile of wood that's split. And here's a bunch more that we've sawed, uh, felled. Well, one tree had come down in a storm and then another tree, I, I felled it yesterday. Oliver and I were doing all the work here and things and hauling it back here. So we're getting there, getting close to the amount of firewood we need, but, um, but getting back to what I was saying here, um, the term faith alone does not appear in the King James Bible. And you have to understand what, it, what the Bible is teaching there by faith, that you're saved by faith and not of works. It's saying it's your faith, but it's God's grace. You can't divorce the two. You can't say faith alone, grace alone. Well, that doesn't make sense. You're naming two different things and saying they're both alone. No, it's by grace through faith. God's grace, your faith, all right? Uh, that's not works. You have to come to the Lord and have by faith, believe the Bible, believe what the Bible says, and then call upon the Lord. And you're asking for his grace. You're coming and saying, God, can you please save me when you don't deserve it, all right? Um, that's just what the New Testament teaches, all right? Um, so, and what I teach is, that, you know, people say, but you say that there has to be a changed life. That's works. No, 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 no. Let me clarify again. If I'm saying that the changed life would be works of righteousness, um, then yes, that would be a works-based salvation. That's not what I teach. I've never taught that. What I'm saying is when you have a changed life, be like if you come to me and you say, Brother Brian, I feel very sick. And, I, and what should I do about this? And I say, okay, what are your symptoms? What's wrong with you and things? And I would, you'd tell me and I'd say, okay, well, that sounds like name some sickness. And I say, okay, I'm going to give you the cure for that sickness. I tell you about the cure and you say, well, how would I know if it works? Well, if it works, your fever should clear up, your sore throat will be gone and it will change your life in other words. Right? That's not works. That's not some kind of thing of you have to work for it or, 
But no, I'm just telling you what will happen when your healing is real, when it's a legitimate healing, All right? And again, people, they'll lie and they confuse that and they'll say, Brian Denninger says that you're changed, you have to have a changed life and therefore, um, you know, it's this works thing or something. Uh, I mean, I, I understand why people lie about me. I understand it's part of the, the whole thing. Um, you know, people lied about Jesus Christ. People lied about the Apostle Paul. People lied about D.L. Moody. People lie about, you know, all the different, you know, saved men of God down through the years. Um, <clears throat> there's always false reports coming out against you if you're genuinely saved. So, yeah, I get it. But it just, it still frustrates me that people have been led to believe these lies and, and you know, all it takes is some jerk on YouTube or something to <clears throat> cut up my videos, misrepresent what I'm saying, bear false witness against me, and then you get people saying, I don't know if I should listen to Denlinger. He's, he's a cult leader. He's this, he's that. Which, you know, again, the cult leader uh, accusation. I'm a cult leader. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I have a study, you know, uh, Brian Denlinger, the world's worst, or history's worst cult leader. Um, <clears throat> meaning, I'm not a very good cult leader. If, if that's what I am, then I'm not a very good one. Um, because <clears throat> uh, I don't have some kind of building for people to come to where I can control you. Uh, you're free to come and go. You don't have to listen to me. You can disagree with me. Uh, those are not the uh, signs of a cult leader. All right. If I was a cult leader, I would find some way to control people's lives more, and I don't. I don't care, you know, who you marry or what you look like or whatever else. I don't care. I have my opinions on those things, but um, I don't care. And people lie about me all the time with all, all that stuff. And, and uh, you know, I don't care if somebody uses a new version. Quite frankly, it just proves that you're lost. Um, I'm not going to go take people's new versions for them, from them or anything. People have free will. Uh, it doesn't bother me if, you know, all these modern Christians and things, they're just, they're just lost people. Whatever. How am I, you know, can I really design some kind of a world where no lost people exist? I don't think so. So, all right. That's basically going to be it. I just wanted to clarify my stand on the teaching of salvation. Over here's the uh, the outdoor blue toilet. Right back in there. Right there. <laughs> that was at the office. Uh, and we didn't want it there because we used composting toilets there, and which we used completely. We have composting toilets. So we didn't know what to do with the thing, so we just brought it back here and stuck it in the woods and figured, you know, if a moose needs to use it or something, I'll go ahead, right there it is. <laughs> Little joke there. Moose don't use toilets, they have better sense. Um, if you've seen my off-grid seminar, you know why I have an attitude against flush toilets. It's a kind of a Roman invention and not really a smart invention in my opinion, but again, my opinion. If you have a flush toilet, that doesn't mean you're going to hell. You know, it's probably some new group gets started and Denninger teaches that people with flush toilets are on their way to hell. You know. <sighs> yeah, sure. Whatever. So I do not teach works salvation. Please understand. Works salvation people never have assurance of salvation. They never will know. They can't know that they are saved. Um, all they can do is hope that they are saved. Uh, that's not what the Bible teaches. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He paid for your sins. You can know that you are saved. All right. Um, so <clears throat> do not believe the lies that you hear about me out there. That... Uh, I'm a work salvationist because I'm not. So that will be it. And we'll see you in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.